Minty, welcome back to HQ. Um, the last time you were here, it was a slightly different <laughs> grammar you were, you were talking about. You were talking about the big boy, yep. which was the KL 55.8T. Correct. And T that's was it. for telescopic. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, I tell you, I remember. I remember. <laughs> that, that's right. Now today, <laughs> you're at the other end of the Cramer scale. This is, is, it, is it okay to call this the baby of the range? It's not quite the baby, there's one slightly smaller, 12.5, uh, but yes, this is the, you know, the, the baby of the, of the range. Well, tell us a little bit about it. Now, it landed in here a few days ago and uh, we were cleaning out a few hard to reach houses what is the market for this baby because it's not a it, it's not a machine for buck rake and silage or no. fill and diet feeders no <laughs> but we, we sell the machine into uh, various applications obviously agriculture is one of those poultry houses pig units uh, dairy sector with a dispenser bucket on or a muck scraper on the front for getting into uh, accessible places garden centers uh, garden nurseries but people making footpaths, all sorts of industries. So it's not just the agricultural sector, it's all basically because of the four-wheel steering, make it easy to, to uh, manoeuvre and operate. Well, what, what's the rundown on the machine then? What does KL, obviously, Cramer loader? Yeah, so the, again, it's the same as the, the big machine, the KL is Cramer loader, 14.5. 14 is the 1.4 tonne tipping load. Its uh, payload is approximately 900 kilos, but it's a 1.4 tonne tipping load. It's all rated at 500 millimetre load centres. Mm -hmm. So if, if the 500 millimetre load centre is less than that, it'll lift a bit more. But generally speaking, the rule of thumb is 500 millimetre load centres. Five is basically, it's a five series machine. That's, we have five series and eight series, and this is a five series. So what kind of horsepower do we have? Right, here? so this is a, a Yanmar engine, uh, 38 horsepower. Uh, DOC and DPF on it. The smaller machine, the 12.5, only has uh, 25 horsepower and none, which is a straightforward exhaust. Pretty much, There's yes. no DPF, no DOC, because it's under the limit for the legislation. So then you can, you can understand why there's maybe a, a little bit of an appeal for that smaller machine as well, if someone doesn't and, want that. If they're not using it a lot and it's sitting about yeah. a bit. That's one of those machines where you really need to watch your wing mirrors. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, a lot of people, again, if it's, they can fold it forward and uh, out of the way. But, yeah, but I mean, fine. overall width, it's not very wide. No, it's a narrow, narrow machine. Uh, we have different tyre options as well. This is our industrial tyre. We have a, a track grip tyre as well and a, like a flotation tyre. Inside the cabin is good and roomy now, I must admit. Yep. I'm, a, I'm a big man and I'm very comfortable in there. What, what, this machine has replaced our uh, previous machine, and the previous machine, the door opened approximately there oh. for access. And uh, you had to close it when you were in there. Oh, well, no. now the door falls fully back and is locked in, in, in uh, place. And we've made the door opening wider. It's n honestly, yep, it's absolutely it's, fantastic. Yep. You know, the only, the only thing I would insist on would be an air seat just because uh, when you get to a certain weight in air seats, definitely better, oh, but, yeah. but that's possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it's possible. We can also have uh, air conditioning on the machine as well, if so be. And another improvement to the cab, uh, now we've lowered uh, the middle of the cab. This used to be approximately there, and we've lowered it, so you've got easy access as well. Oh, yeah, yeah, side. okay. So you, those are some very positive changes yep. from the previous model, yep. haven't they? And we've also, when you sit on the seat, we've now, uh, redesigned the front here so when you're looking through you can see the edge of your bucket on both sides and your pallet tines you can see your tines as well so we've improved the vision instead of that being straight it's now curved and so forth so this side utilizes our diesel tank and the other side is our hydraulic tank this machine is also fitted with uh, hand throttle and low speed mode so you can set the speed of the machine going forward and your engine revs so you've got constant speed drive now the turning circle, just looking at it there, it's a, it's a full steering lock. Yep. It literally turns on a dime. If, if uh, I mean, we can show later on outside, if, if I stand here, the machine will come back to there. Yeah. In, in full lock. It's very, very manoeuvrable. And we do replace 
some skid steers with it, mainly because the, a lot of the customers with the skid steers are getting older. So the access into this is a lot easier than it is on a skid steer. So but it, it is very uh, manoeuvrable as a skid steer nearly. And then around the, around the far side, you, you know, you have a lot of nice access points where you can get in and, and keep it clean yep. and it's, it's pretty cool. Now on uh, another improvement on the machine, the uh, glass panel at the other side is hinged and it'll open up so you can clean the floor very easily from both sides. As before, it, the panel was a bolt-on panel and it was quite difficult. Now the, it's very easy. The wee rubber mat left out reasonably easy. Yes. Uh, I did yeah. try that. As you can see, it's a lovely clean floor. I, I, did, I, yeah. did, I did go to that Perfect. effort last yeah. night. <laughs> the, the machine is also uh, fitted with an adjustable steering column. Yeah. Uh, you can, a standard machine is not adjustable. It's an option, but most people will take the, take the option. So moving on front of the machine, this is our uh, boom. Uh, from the previous model, we've uh, increased the uh, chassis, so made it stronger because it lifts a little bit more. And, but this front end is basically the same. And the familiar green button? Yes, we have the uh, depressurizing button, uh, same as we have on the KL55.T, and that's the same on every single Kramer. A small addition we've done with this machine, we have the yellow marker and the red marker, Yellow is for the pallet forks, and the red one is for the bucket. And if you line the two yellow marks up, your forks will be level. So you can see that your forks are level without actually looking at your forks. Just by, and it's adjustable, so you can set it to how you want. And same on the bucket side. The quick change system is unique to this machine. Uh, it's a hydraulic pin in, that's protected in the bottom of the loader arm. And it's, it's good and safe because you have the extra button to push that's away from the controls yep. in order to... To, to uh, unlock the bucket, it's a two-handed operation again. On this machine, the switch is here. Yeah. And then you use the button on there. This uh, standard form is uh, 20K, but you can have an option of 30K as well. The machine is fitted with our load stabiliser system, the same as on the big machines. Automatic, off or permanently on. Works in the same way. So it's, again, common throughout the, the whole, whole range. Well, look, Mandy, thank you very much. As I say, it's, it's uh, as I say, it's a dinky. Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's a dinky, I mean, it's a dinky is, little machine. This is one of my favorite machines to drive because it's so, if you're doing little jobs around the farm, it's so nice. And the farmer's wife always wants it. Absolutely. Again, thank you very much for coming and for talking us around the machine. Yeah, and, and uh, you know, from Kramer's side, you know, we thank you guys for having us here. It's much appreciated. I like coming and it's good to be <laughs> able to travel again. That's for sure. Yeah. Thank you, Menti. All right, thank In you very much.